In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create Google AMP pages, also known as accelerated mobile pages, that load lightning fast on mobile devices because they're slimmed down, all the CSS and JavaScript is removed. So the user experience may not be as great because that JavaScript and CSS may add functionality that is taken away by the AMP page, but it will load lightning fast and hopefully you get a bit of a rankings boost on the mobile search index because it loads fast. Either way, we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is creating these Google AMP pages. I'll see you in the screen capture. First thing to do is install the Google AMP plugin. So head over to plugins, click on add new. It's gonna type in AMP. The one I use is by Automatic, this one down here. 200,000 installs, three and a half out of five stars. So it may not be the best, but that's the one I use. This other one up here, 60,000 installs has four and a half stars. So it might be better. I'm not sure, I've never tried that one. So this is the only one I've tried. This is what I'm gonna demo, but feel free to try this one because the process would be pretty much the same. Click on install now, on whichever one you want. Then click on activate. Now we have AMP activated. If we go over to Appearance and then click on AMP, it opens the website in a customizer where we can customize what the AMP page looks like. Like I mentioned in the intro, AMP is a very stripped down version of your website. So it strips out all non-essential JavaScript, a lot of non-essential CSS, and it customizes content based on what you do here. And what this means is you might lose functionality if you use AMP, but you're gonna gain a lot in site speed, which Google likes, and in fact, AMP results have been shown to rank higher than non-AMP results in Google mobile search. Google now has two separate indexes, one for mobile, one for desktop, so they can index everything separately. So your website might rank really well on desktop, but really poorly in mobile because your pages aren't fast. AMP can help you with that, but the drawback with that is you might lose functionality. So we can customize a couple things here. The header text color, you can change it to whatever you like. Header color at the top, Change that to whatever you like. And choose that one. You can have a light theme or a dark theme. And that's really all the default options. Click on save and publish when you're ready and then X out of here. So if you're happy with that result, you're done. But if you want to customize things a little more, there are two additional plugins you can install. I'm gonna go back to add new. First of all is Yoast SEO, which is pretty much on every website out there, at least it should be. I'm a big fan of Yoast SEO. So you wanna make sure that one's installed. Install now under this Yoast SEO result. And then click activate. Then go back to plugins and add new. And we wanna add Yoast SEO AMP. This one right here, glue for Yoast SEO. Click on install now. And then click on activate. And now Yoast SEO is added this SEO menu. And that second plugin we installed, Yoast SEO and AMP, added this one menu option to the Yoast SEO menu. So we're gonna click on there, and that allows us to customize a couple more things for the AMP. You can choose the post types that have AMP support. By default, it's just posts, but you can enable the media, and this is a custom post type, so you have, if you have custom post types, you can enable those or disable them as well. Under design, you can change the AMP icon. You can have a default image for a post, if, if you don't have one on every post. You can change the header colors, just like we did before, the title color, but you can also change the text color, the post meta info color, link colors, hover colors, underline for links or not, change block quote styling, and then add extra CSS and extra code. But you have to be aware that AMP, the whole point of it is to load sites faster. So the more code you add, the slower your AMP result is gonna be. So you don't wanna go overboard, you're not trying to recreate your original responsive site in the AMP format, because then why use AMP? Because the site's gonna load as it would uh, without AMP if you have all the same data in it. So if you wanna get the most out of AMP, make sure you don't try to replicate your, the responsive version of your website. Make a stripped down version, that's the whole idea of AMP. And when you're done, click on Save Changes. 
and then you can head over to analytics and in here you can put your google analytics code and then have the data tracked in your google analytics and you need to do this even if you have analytics installed on your site on your regular site the amp versions need this code separately so that's how easy it is to create Google AMP pages. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appear on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.